This is more bizarre fish behavior is being witnessed now moving north into Palm Beach County. That's not something I've ever seen fish do, ever. People reporting that they have seen many species of fish acting very erratically. <laughs> Trying to get people to see that there is a very serious problem that we all need to deal with. And if we don't deal with it, it's going to be an even larger problem because it's already gone too far. <laughs> A lot that happens with time often gets missed and remains too good to be true <laughs> until captured on camera. Here are some of the times the camera was at the right hand at the right moment. It's not that the fishes are jumping out in excitement, but rather jumping out from being electrocuted. A two-man crew of these fishermen used live electricity to catch a huge score of Asian carp that were jumping up out of the water as a result of the reaction. While this technique may offer a quick solution, it has been deemed against the law for its treatment of living beings, and it is also unsustainable in fishing practices. However, this technique can still be used to keep invasive fish species, such as Asian carp, in check. marching crabs. Oh my goodness. Hello, Dad, can I pick it up? On their own, these crabs might be very small and almost defenseless. Whereas being united, they could chew the life out of any large aggressor. A family enjoying a weekend on the beach got to witness the rare sight of thousands of these soldier crabs that were marching all together at the Australian Bayside Beach. These crabs bury themselves in the sand during high tide and emerge in large groups on low tide to avoid being washed away. They are one of the few crabs that have evolved to walk forward and have claws that are positioned vertically. Maybe. They went under. Yeah, they will. Jumping fishes. Whoa! <laughs> Look at him go! Since there isn't anything here justifying it to be electrofishing, these fishes are probably just excited to see visitors. A family was out on a boating trip in a narrow water stream when their boating experience took a fascinating turn, when several dozen decent-sized fishes started to jump out of the water. In the jumping frenzy, some even landed into the boat till they reached the other end of the stream. From the looks of it, it probably was the sound of the propeller and or the presence of the boat that got the fish all scared and jumping out. <laughs> Mysterious worm infestation. Regardless if all these are worms or just baby eels, they'd certainly give the ick to be anywhere in and around this river, a clip dating back to October 2017, captured by a villager in Thailand covers the moment when a river was partially filled with mysterious types of worms, baby eels, or snakes. The curious and puzzled villagers were trying to identify the nature of these mystery creatures that made the sudden appearance. Using available tools, they took out a sample to investigate, while at the same time practicing caution, because clearly they don't give out any good vibes. Fish confronts boaters. <laughs> From direct confrontation to forcibly driving fishermen out of its territory, the true intentions of this fish may forever remain a mystery. Cruising on a boat in an undisclosed location, these boaters were taken aback when a massive fish leaped onto their vessel, causing one man to lose his balance and fall into the water out of fear. While it could be perceived as a mere accident, according to the boaters, the fish seemed to be aggressive and confrontational, so much so that it was willing to drive them out of its territory. Sailing over Crocs. While traversing swamps, encountering a crocodile or two might be a possibility. Only in this instance, dozens came out sprinting. A recording from February 2020 captured a moment of a small motorboat in the swampy wilds of Indonesia that unexpectedly frightened not just one or two, but numerous crocodiles, 
causing them to scatter and make room for the boat. The exact reason remains uncertain, but based on the loud noise of the propeller. Perhaps all of these very young crocs that were startled by the sufficiently large and noisy, getting them to flee. Bailing out sardines. Either these sardines lost their way or were overwhelmed by the waves presenting a jackpot opportunity. Bystanders were greeted by an unusually massive score of sardine fish that were bailing out onto the coast of what is believed to be Karatakol. A video of the incident immediately went viral with varying reactions from netizens, seeing the bystanders overjoyed, as they desperately were grabbing as many of them as fast as possible. While the exact cause of scores of fish leaping out of water remains unknown, a study by Cochin University of Science and Technology terms the event a sardine run. According to reports, a sardine run is actually the migration of sardine fish as the waters change temperature. Killer Whale Congregation <laughs> As large as this killer whale congregation is, no one knows their agenda for sure. Fishermen of the Norwegian island of Skurvoja document what is believed to be the largest ever megapod of orcas captured on video. Oh my god! I've never seen anything like this! Never! Despite the involvement of numerous marine biologists, no one was able to derive the explanation behind this megapod congregating. From the possibilities of this being a large family gathering to feeding and breeding activity were considered with none of the theories matching up to their normal behavior. These orcas were of several different dialects, meaning different species that were socializing between. A scene that's never been seen before. Fish in the wake. Unlike the previous cases, the fish here were only jumping out from the rear of the boat. Another family that was on a fishing trip where instead of being able to catch fish, was suddenly overwhelmed by dozens of them all around. Now, the fact that they were only jumping out from the rear of the boat shows that these fishes were rather in a confrontational mood than a natural reaction out of fear. However, the family, without much of a fishing effort, got to catch more than what they could bargain for. <laughs> Gators exposed. When you are in an alligator territory and don't seem to find them, you are in for a surprise. A part of Catalua Lake was drained back in August 2010 near Georgetown in Little Creek, Louisiana, that revealed dozens of gators, which otherwise would rarely be found. Aside from the viewers, even the locals were surprised by this recording seeing a large gathering of gators. Now, if one were to be fishing or just passing by this lake in a boat, one would never have realized how much of a big risk they might be putting themselves into until this clip. There's one of them. Calm before the storm. Being anywhere in or around piranha territory, you can never expect to find the waters to be peaceful. A tribal man by the harbor in Rio Uruguay near Bella Union decided to make a litmus test before getting into the water, tossing pieces of bleeding fishes only, and almost instantly dozens or so piranhas stormed in frenzy. Thinking he'd have better luck by the boats, only to find a large pot of piranhas inhabiting there as well, they engaged in a frenzy. Migrating Tadpoles Just by the pitch dark color of these juveniles, you can know it's best to only see and not touch them. An explorer caught this moment of millions of newly born tadpoles that were migrating at Scott Lake to deeper water in a formation. These amphibians are known to migrate to deeper water due to seasonal variations in water levels in the mountain lakes grazing on algae and larvae along the way. Though no adults were seen, the juveniles sure looked to know what they were doing. Erupting clams. Whoa. 
One can only imagine the terror if these clams were as huge as humans, if not bigger. This video was recorded at Daytona Beach in Florida, revealing countless legions of miniature clams bursting forth from the sands, almost resembling a sudden clam invasion. The scene of their emergence would have been incredibly frightening if they were larger. These clams have a habit of burying themselves in the sandy beach as they prepare to feed. Upon detecting an approaching wave, they emerge from the sand and feast on small organisms in the water. Trouble-seeking sea lions. I'm here to fish herring, not to kill sea lions. Encountering a large group of sea lions can be an intimidating prospect, let alone experiencing it firsthand. In March 2019, off the coast of British Columbia, a seasoned fisherman shared a harrowing incident where he and his crew found themselves surrounded by dozens of sea lions closing in on their boat, probably hoping to find some fish. With similar occurrences reported in the past, the fishermen were prepared and equipped with firecrackers and dynamite with a limited impact radius. As the sea lions drew nearer, one fisherman lit the dynamite to deter them. While sparking fierce debate online, they laugh about it as though they just had a great time hurting uh, an innocent animal. The fishermen maintained it was done for safety reasons, emphasizing the need to protect themselves and their vessel from any of their ill-willed intentions. Feeding Swarm Nope, this isn't a case of feeding piranhas, but rather than that of catfishes. An elderly man who was hoping to check marine life activity in a shallow river decided to toss food to see what surfaces. Within seconds, he and the bystanders noticed a swarm of catfishes that came up and out of the water to feed. The sheer desperation of these catfish swarms was initially mistaken to be piranhas, until minutes later, they surfaced, restoring the calm. Shark on Buffet No, the water hasn't turned black, but aerial footage reveals a mesmerizing sight off the coast of Hampton. Hundreds of bunker fish swimming in unison. However, they are not alone. A group of sharks can be observed trailing behind the fish. This startling event occurred after a severe storm pushed the fish approximately 550 miles away from the coast, providing an unexpected feeding frenzy for sharks, whales, and several dolphins. With their jaws wide open, these predators can be seen voraciously devouring the Manahadans, showcasing the raw power and ferocity of marine life in action. Tossed Sea Lion Whenever you see a sea lion or any of its sister species around an orca, you know it won't end so nicely. This incident was no different. A fisherman that was out for a catch near Ketchikan, Alaska, where a little while while deploying his line spotted a sea lion hiding under his boat. Initially, he was left confused until he spotted a killer whale nearby. Though the angler let the sea lion maintain cover for a while, as he was leaving the sea lion was spotted within seconds, only to suffer a brutal encounter that started with it being tossed like 20 feet into the air. There is no chance that it wouldn't have survived. Feast Gathering By the presence of dozens of fish-eating birds, sea lions, and humpback whales, you can tell that there was a massive feeding frenzy in process here. A boatload of tourists that were being taken on a tour trip on a ferry got to see a rare sight of a wide array of marine animals that were gathered for a feast. Though the sighting was captivating, no one could properly tell how many exactly there were or who was eating who, but everyone made their presence known for sure. Speeding Dolphins Capturing those dozens of dolphins swimming and leaping alongside a boat off of Laguna Beach in California. These dolphins may seem to be just playing along, following the jet skis, but it looks more like Dolphin Olympics in the works. In July 2019, boaters off the California coast got to enjoy the spectacle of dozens of dolphins that were swimming together at quite a speed. Initially, it was thought that the dolphins were being hunted, until no predators were found in the area. One of the spectators commented that 
While he was driving the boat, the dolphins suddenly started to follow in his wake. However, the actual trigger for such a sight remains unclear. Perhaps it could be both. The dolphins started following in his wake. Overwhelming migration. This isn't some dust or dirt, but bazillions of baby crabs that were in the midst of a migration. Visitors at Christmas Island got to see this incredible sight in January 2017, showing a great deal of newly spawned baby crabs that were seen making their way out from the sea to their way back to mainland Christmas Island. Though the sight of them fills the entire ground with their presence, like a huge army of ants, there is a very good chance that a number of them could climb their way in and on to you, or any bystander that comes in the way. Basking manatees. With dolphins and manatees never having been seen before together, this almost shows that they have formed a kind of brethren. Back in February 2021 in Florida, nearly 200 endangered Florida manatees were filmed together basking in shallow waters off the state's west coast. The remarkable drone footage also shows a pod of playful dolphins swimming through the group. A video of the manatees and dolphins at play captured by See Through Canoe is exceptional in that it portrays the species together in such high numbers. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission estimates that only about 7,500 manatees exist in the wild in the southeastern U.S. Mouthful Whale Just as their large size and magnificent appearance, their gigantic mouth looks just as thrilling. A drone operated by whale watchers found this large whale that was stationary with its large mouth was open collecting fish. With sardines all jumping in and out of the water while migrating, a good number of them got stacked up in its mouth that within seconds was filled enough for it to swallow and disappear. Usually such a behavior is adopted by crocodiles and alligators. Seeing such a large and peaceful mammal do is another rare spectacle to witness. Underwater Fish Tornado This isn't just another large bait ball that you often get to see, rather a kind of performance being put in place here. A very small group of scuba divers were on a recreational dive when they noticed this unusually large pod of thousands of fishes that were participating together to form a kind of shape that looked like a fish tornado. Normally, being around these large fish gatherings is a high risk since it attracts whales or sharks. Only this one seemed to be rather trying to create some kind of deterrence. Sprinting Mouse Train These aren't just a group of mice working together. In fact, showing their level of intelligence by working together to look like a snake. This footage was shared by an unknown source showing a family of mice banded together to look like a snake. Seeing how intimidating the snakes can be helps them deter most predators, if not all. Unlike most animals, they show unity and a next-level intelligence that makes this moment quite unbelievable. Waving off to freedom. Though a sight such as this is usually common during a wedding ceremony, you certainly can't argue about the moment. It's utterly mesmerizing to witness as birds are liberated into the skies. Soaring in great numbers, there's no looking back for them as they grace the sky with their presence. One aspect that sets this footage apart is that everyone ultimately longs to be like these birds, completely free. Seagull Air Force Seeing these many seagulls gathered all over the area and the sky, it's the bringer of both good and bad news. A fisherman was heading for one of his routine catches when he stumbled on this one-of-a-kind sight of thousands of seagulls that were all over the area. This certainly indicates the rich presence of fish all around, while at the same time increasing the probability of theft, regardless if it was a single fish or a large boatload. After all, who doesn't like to have a free meal? Baby Turtle Invasion
On the bright side, at least this site restores the faith in turtles being quite endangered. A clip from January 2023 in Gupora showcases thousands of baby giant South American river turtles hatching along sandbars, constituting the largest aggregation of these reptiles globally. Thousands of hatchlings from their nests waddling across the sand toward the river. Approximately 80,000 female turtles gathered on the beaches of Gupora and Itenez River. Giant South American river turtles can grow up to 3.5 feet and weigh 200 pounds, making them the largest freshwater turtle species in Latin America. The annual nesting and hatching of these turtles are one of Earth's magnificent natural spectacles. Turtle Tragedy when fishing nets are used irresponsibly and carelessly, it is always the marine animals that end up paying the price. Back in August 2018, approximately 300 vulnerable sea turtles were discovered deceased, ensnared in illicit fishing nets along the Mexican coastline. Specialists speculate that the cause of death could be attributed to asphyxiation, exposure to toxic algae, or entanglement with hooks attached to the nets. The turtles were ensnared in a 120-meter-long net, not sanctioned for fishing purposes. Considering how these turtle species are on the list of vulnerable to extinction, this was an even bigger tragedy for the ecosystem. <laughs> Flying Torpedoes When push comes to shove, some birds like these go above and beyond to catch the prey. Unlike seagulls and other fish-eating birds that catch their prey from either the surface or a shallow depth, Cape Gannets go all the way in. They climb a high altitude before turning directly to face towards the ocean water, dropping down in speed using gravity to their advantage. This moment helps them become super divers that go as fast as 60 feet into the water and form an underwater flock that works together in an aquatic version of flight to grab any fish that they can in a time span of 30 to 45 seconds. Monkeys on Recon Mission In September 2022, a remarkable sight was captured on camera in the Longhu Mountains scenic area in China. It showed hundreds of monkeys that swam across a river in a bid to explore the territory of another clan of the same species. Ignoring the presence of tourists on a bamboo raft, the sizable troop leaped into the water and fervently paddled to the opposite bank. Staff members at the scenic area revealed that these swimmers belonged to one of four monkey troops inhabiting the vicinity. It was suspected that the alpha male, driven by a desire to expand his troops' territory, led his followers on this reconnaissance mission. Upon reaching the opposite bank, which was under the ownership of another troop, they swiftly departed before the rightful owners returned. Beach Feeding Frenzy During a retreat at Cape Lookout National Seashore off North Carolina's coast, leaders from One Harbor Church witnessed a remarkable shark feeding frenzy. While they headed there to catch dinner, they noticed a scene of sharks that were feeding a few bluefishes joined by seagulls and pelicans. For over five minutes, the sharks swam in and out of the surf, some even becoming stranded later on. The cameraman, an avid waterman familiar with Cape Lookout, captured the event. These sightings indicate a thriving ecosystem. Look, look, look. Rays show of force. This was either some very large gathering event for these rays or a display of their large force fleet. A man was kayaking in Tampa Bay on the St. Pete side, noticed this unusually large school of cow nose rays in February 2024. To get a better view, a drone was quickly released in the area to get a better look, only to reveal the crowd stretching for over a mile, if not longer. These rays are usually found in small groups anywhere along the Gulf Coast, as well as the Atlantic Ocean. Jaws on steroids. Jaws on steroids as literally hundreds of sharks surround a boat in a feeding frenzy. If this goes on, perhaps fishing from within the seafood department would be a better choice. On March 1st, 2023, 
fishermen on their routine fishing expedition encountered a massive shiver of sharks feeding off the coast of Venice, Louisiana. They had set out in search of yellowfin tuna, and they stumbled upon a large pod of sharks that snatched away their luck of catching any by engulfing in a feeding frenzy surrounding their boat. With jaws seemingly on steroids and fins thrashing about, the fishermen found themselves catching nothing but salty water being splashed all over amidst the chaotic scene. <laughs> Getting soaking wet. Barbecue invading crabs. Sometimes all it takes is the sizzling scent of barbecue to have a peaceful coexistence with wildlife. Terrifying footage emerged from Christmas Island, Australia, showcasing around 50 hungry crustaceans swarming a campsite. 52. There's 52 rubber crabs. Uploaded to Instagram, the clip depicted a family sitting unperturbed as the enormous crabs invaded the site in search of food. These robber crabs, the world's largest land crustaceans, reaching up to three feet in length, are abundant on Christmas Island, where they can live over 50 years. Shared by the Christmas Island Tourism Group on Facebook, the incident left locals astonished as the crabs interrupted a family barbecue. Swarming Jellyfishes coming here to our shores in larger numbers. Uh, each year, because of the global warming, the water gets hotter and hotter, and we can see more and more jellyfish. Since all these jellyfishes weren't deceased, this was most probably the effect of climate change. Huge swarms of jellyfish covering several parts of Israel's coastline in July 2022 sparked alarm of ecological imbalance, exacerbated by the declining state of the climate. We see lately here a lot of jellyfish. It's, uh, it looks like because of the global warming. These translucent invertebrates having painful stings block the access to swim, costing the country millions in lost tourism. It also created havoc on desalination plants and industrial fishing nets. Marine ranger Guy Lavian from the Israel Nature and Parks Authority warns that rising temperatures are fueling the proliferation of these gelatinous creatures. Mysterious Underwater Slithers Initially, these might be like snakes, then eels when you look carefully, when actually they are just leeches. On April 20th, 2015, a diver encountered a puzzling gathering of aquatic leeches near the junction of an agricultural ditch in wetland close to the Bay of Green Bay. Despite frequent visits to the site over the years, the diver had never witnessed such a large number of leeches before, a phenomenon unprecedented in the area. The leeches remained at the location for at least two days, but were expected to disperse as weather conditions and water levels fluctuate, which attracts more fish to the sea. Starling Mermation Truly captivating is the sight captured by a man from an undisclosed location, showcasing a mesmerizing murmuration ritual of starlings. In this remarkable phenomenon, these birds engage in intricate aerial displays, flying in vast groups while emitting sounds from their wings, all without colliding. Researchers continue to explore the reasons behind this behavior, speculating that it could serve various purposes such as communication about daily activities, sharing information on feeding grounds, or even acting as a defense mechanism against potential predators. The sheer coordination and harmony displayed by thousands of birds in these murmurations not only captivate observers, but also pose intriguing questions about the complexities of avian behavior. Bird Invasion this fireplace is where the birds made entry into the home. They flew in by the hundreds and left a wave of chaos and destruction. No matter what the experts may claim, the inexplicable seems to reign supreme when considering the events of April 2021, where thousands of birds swarmed into a California resident's home via a chimney, ignited by an unknown force. Desperate for aid, the homeowners sought assistance from animal control only to be met with a dismissive suggestion to just open the doors. There were birds coming out of everywhere. It was insane. It took three full days of manual labor to remove over 2,000 birds, 
and clean up the ensuing chaos. Similarly, a parallel incident occurred 100 miles north in Manicito, where a steel grate prevented avian intrusion. This real-life occurrence bore a striking resemblance to Hitchcock's chilling 1963 masterpiece, The Birds. Joint Apex Predator Feast Certainly this was more than a mere feast, it was a convergence of two formidable aquatic predators. On November 29, 2017, astonishing drone footage captured a tiger shark and a saltwater crocodile engaged in a feeding frenzy over a deceased humpback whale. The spectacle unfolded near Western Australia's Kimberley Coast, an area frequented by both sharks and crocodiles. Repeatedly, the predators targeted the whale's flippers, tail, and body. Despite the enormity of the carcass, neither predator seemed deterred by the other's presence, suggesting a willingness to share the bounty. Such a substantial meal could likely sustain their respective clans for an extended period. Fishing Bigger Than Kayak The thrill of catching a large fish is undeniable. But attempting to reel in one much larger than your boat can lead to a high-risk challenge. A kayaker recently shared footage of his encounter with a massive fish attempting to capture it. However, the fish proved to be aggressive, slippery, and significantly larger than the kayak itself. Despite the kayaker's efforts, the odds were in favor of the fish, which ultimately struggled free and escaped. The size difference between the boat and the fish played a crucial role, highlighting the potential limitations of attempting to catch such formidable prey from a smaller vessel. Massive Whale Die-Off Nearly 100 whales tragically perished on a beach in Australia in July 2023. The Cheyenne's Beach Caravan Park in Western Australia first spotted a pod of long-fin pilot whales approximately 330 feet from the shore. Within hours, the entire pod found themselves stranded on the shoreline. Despite heroic human efforts to rescue the remaining whales, nature had different intentions. I just want to sort of start at one end. Try and work on the smaller ones first, see if we can get them out. They're going to come back in. It's just the nature of it, unfortunately. Despite being shepherded back into the water, some of the whales are beached themselves later that afternoon, adding to the devastation of the situation. Piss off, swordfish. The perils of the sea extend beyond sharks, as evidenced by a distressed swordfish entangled in a fishing line. Tourists diving off the coast of Champon, southern Thailand, in December 2019, narrowly avoided a close encounter with the frantic swordfish. Fortunately, quick action by the fishermen prevented potentially severe consequences for the tourists. The sharp nose of a swordfish is not something one would want to encounter unexpectedly, making the situation all the more harrowing. Open discussion. This picture and video were captured on September 4, 2012, at a beach in Fort Lauderdale. The appearances of this large, dark entity by the beach left all the bystanders in fear and concerned beachgoers a few minutes after a man with a fish rod claimed to have hooked something huge. It wasn't until it got very close to the beach that it turned out a large pod of mullets had been caught during the annual mullet run, leaving the possibility of making a very large catch just fingertips away.